Shri Gaudapadacharya Math Sanskrit, Shri Sansthana Gaudapadakaya Matha Shri Sansthana Gaudapadakaya Matha, also known as Kavail Matha Kavail Matha located in Kavail, Ponda, Goa is the oldest Matha of the Smarthan Saraswat Brahmins. It was founded by Gaudapada around 740 AD, whose student was Govinda Bhagavatpada, the guru of Adi Shankara, a highly influential figure in Hinduism. There is also a belief that Gaudapada himself established the Sri Gaudapadacharya Matha when he lived in Gomantak Goa. Thus, the Matha came to be known as Sri Saunstan Gaudapadacharya Matha. Unlike other Mathas, Sri Gaudapadacharya Matha is not a polemical center established to influence the faith of all Hindus, its jurisdiction is limited to only Dikshanatya Saraswat Brahmins. The Pitadhipathi Head monk is Sri Gaudapadakaya. Smartest Gud Saraswat Brahmins and Rajapur Saraswat Brahman are its main disciples. Topic: <laughs> History. Sri Sansthana Gaudapadakaya Matha was founded in 740 AD at Kushasthali near Keloshi, Quelsham, in Goa by Sri Vivarananda Saraswati, who along with Adi Shankara was a disciple of Govinda Bhagavatpada, who in turn was Gaudapada's disciple. There is also belief among people that the Matha was established by Gaudapada. During the Portuguese rule in Goa in 15th and 16th century, Hindus were forcibly converted to Christianity, and many Hindu temples and mathas were destroyed. In 1564, the Gaudapadacharya Matha at Keloshi was destroyed by the Portuguese. Challenged by the Portuguese atrocities, to safeguard the tradition, legacy of the Matha and the Sanatan Dharma, 57th Guru Srimit Purnananda Saraswati Swami Godapadacharya had to leave Goa and find shelter at the Golvan Matha Ashram. 58th Guru Srimit Sahajananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya and 59th Guru Srimit Vijananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya also stayed at the Golvan Matha. 60th Guru Srimit Ramananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya stayed in Chinda Matha. 61st Guru Srimit Sadananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya left for Varanasi along with his disciple the 62nd Guru Srimit Bhavananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya, as the hostile situation in Goa did not improve for Hindus. Later as the peace returned to Goa, Sri Vital Shyama Sharma Shenavi Ranganaka of Kaundinya Gotra from Kushasthali along with a group of Saraswats went to Varanasi to persuade the 62nd Guru to return to Goa from Varanasi. During those times, it used to take six months or more to reach Varanasi and return to Goa. The Guru listened to the pleas to return to Goa, but politely refused to oblige due to his old age and his desire to spend his remaining life in sacred place of Varanasi, abode of God Shiva. This forced the group of people to return to Goa, however, Ranganaka decided to remain with the Guru and serve him in order to get some more time to persuade him to return to Goa. Unrelenting, Ranganaka later one day threatened to go on fast unto death if the Guru would not return to Goa. When several requests of the Guru to Ranganaka to reverse his decision did not yield any results, in presence of several important Hindu religious leaders and sants and sadhus of Varanasi, performed the religious rituals and gave Sanyasa Diksha to Ranganaka and made him his disciple and renamed him Srimit Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya. After giving Diksha, Sri Bhavananda Saraswati ordered Sri Sachidananda Saraswati to return to Goa and perform the duties of Dharma Guru of Saraswats according to the Sri Sansthana Gaudapadakaya Matha's tradition. In his journey, on the way to Goa Sri Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Ji was felicitated and assisted to make his journey comfortable by the kings and general public. Meantime news of Ranganaka taking Sanyasa Diksha spread among Saraswat Brahmins in Goa, but some people refused to believe that as truth which led to division of Saraswat Brahmins into two groups. 
there was couple of reasons why people refused to believe because as per the tradition, only a brahmacharan can take sannyasa diksha and Ranganaka was a grihastha and the sannyasa diksha was not performed in presence of the disciples from Goa. So some people believed that Ranganaka is trying to enjoy the special status and power of being Pitadipathi and thereby own the property of the Matha. Moreover, Srimat Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya was not carrying any documents signed by Sri Bhavananda Saraswati authenticating his new status. All these developments forced Srimat Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya to return to Varanasi in Midway and appraised Srimat Bhavananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya about the situation. Then Srimat Bhavananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya invited the religious leaders of Varanasi to a gathering at Makthi Mantip to discuss the matter and wrote a letter stating that Sri Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya was indeed his disciple and Uttaradhikari of Sri Saunstan Gaudapadacharya Matha in Goa and he would be the spiritual guru of Saraswat Brahmins of Gomantak region and which was signed along with other religious leaders gathered there and handed over to Srimat Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya. Srimat Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya then decided to stay few more days with his guru Srimat Bhavananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya in Varanasi and later returns to Goa where a grand welcome awaited him and he stayed in Sonavade Matha in Ratnagiri. As peace prevailed in Goa region, in 1630 new Matha building was built in Kavail, Ponda, Goa, which in those days was a part of Son Kingdom, under Hindu rule. The land for this Matha was gifted by then ruler Sri Bishvalinga Sounder. After the Math building was built, Srimat Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya who was staying in Sonavade Matha moved to this new Matha and became the first Pitadhipathi to stay in this Matha and it was made the headquarters of the Sri Saunstan Gaudapadacharya Matha. Other Saraswat Mathas Smatha Saraswats who flourished on the banks of the river Saraswati in the Himalayan region, north of Kurukshetra were forced to migrate southward initially because of the drying up of the sacred river and subsequently due to the repeated assaults made by Muslim invaders. The elders of this group of Smatha Saraswats offered penance at the banks of the Kotatirth in Gokana and were blessed with a guru, Puja Parananashramai, and founded the Sri Chitrapur Math in 1708. Since the Matha was established, all Dikshanatya or Southern Saraswat Brahmins were the disciples of this Matha and all Saraswat Brahmins were followers of Smartism. In the 12th century AD, Madhvacharya propagated the Dvaita philosophy and promoted Bhakti movement centered around God Krishna which gave Philip to Vaishnava sect and a large section of Saraswat Brahmins converted to Vaishnavism. Later in 1476 AD, Gokana Math and in 1542 AD, Kashi Math was founded under Vaishnava Sampradaya and those Saraswat Brahman converts to Vaishnavism started following these new Mathas. Sri Gaudapadacharya In Kali Yuga Sri Gaudapadacharya is the first preceptor to imbibe the Vedanta wisdom and imparted it to his disciples, thus he is the first historical exponent of Advaita Vedanta. He is the guru of Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya, the guru of Adi Shankaracharya, thus he is the Parama Guru Guru of Adi Shankaracharya. Gaudapadacharya authored Ma-N.D.Ukya Ka Rika which is known by several names such as Gaud.Arpa Da Ka Rika, Mandukya Vartika, Mandukopanishad Gaudapada Vakyan, Agama Granth, Upadesha Granth and also by the name A Gama Sastra a commentary on Mandukya Upanishad. 
Gaudapadacharya describes the subtle meanings locked in the mantras of Mandukya Upanishad, one of the shortest but most profound Upanishads, or mystical Vedas, consisting of just thirteen prose sentences. Although it is a small book by its length, its philosophical contents are very profound and far-reaching, and it is considered one of the greatest works of fundamental philosophy by all scholars. Gaur.Arpa da Karika is an example of the rational epistemics of ultimate reality and it is the earliest known systematic exposition of Advaita Vedanta. That is why this book is also known as Vedanta Mula, meaning the basis of Vedanta philosophy. He explained the illusionary nature maya of the world and the reality of the Paravrahman. Gaudapacharya wrote commentary on Samkhya Karika of Isvariksna, 3rd century, and his other works included Anurgita Basya, Uttagita Basya, Chidananda Kelivilas, Adi Shankaracharya. At the end of his famous commentary to the Gaud.Arpa da Karika addresses the following salutation to Gaudapadacharya as his Parama Guru, Grand Teacher, and compliments him. Him for recovering Advaita Vedanta from Vedas. That verse in Sanskrit goes like this Prajna Vaishaka Vyashrapit Jalani Vaidn Amnontarastam Bhutanyalokya Magnanya Virat Janana Gradhor Samudra Karuna Yadada Dh Dharamrit Amidam Maradhalabam Bhuthatoho Yastam Pujavipajam Paramaguru Maman Padpatanamami, in English it means, I prostrate before the master of my master Paramaguru, the most venerable among the venerable who, seeing the beings immersed in the ocean of this world, ocean infested by frightening sharks such as birth and death, has given, out of compassion towards all beings, this nectar difficult to drink even by the gods and that is hidden in the depths of the great sea of the Vedas, Vedas that he reveals by the power of his enlightened intellect. Though there is not much written details about Gaudapadcharya's past life, according to a legend Gaudapadacharya was born to Sri Vishnudatta and Gunavathi in a devout Saraswat Brahman family at Bhupalam near Vita in the present district of Sangli, and his name was Shukadat. He renounced his life at a very younger age and went to the nearby hill forest in quest of spiritual wisdom. There he was instructed by God through Nabhovani in a voice to march towards north to fulfill his spiritual wisdom. Datadeva received the wisdom of Vedanta through the grace of Lord Narayana and the blessings of Sri Vedavyasa at Badrikashrama. Topic: <laughs> Sri Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya. Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya IAST Govinda Bhagavat Pada was the guru of the Advaita philosopher Adi Shankara and it is mentioned in all the traditional accounts Shankara Vijayams He is also mentioned in the very first verse of Sri Adi Shankaracharya's Prakarana Grantha treatise Vivika Chudamani Sri Adi Guru Gaudapadacharya was his guru teacher. In around 780 AD, Adi Guru Sri Gaudapadacharya was on a pilgrimage to Kashi Varanasi with his Sishya Sri Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya, and they stayed at a tapovan where he established an ashram inside a cave on the banks of the Narmada River. At the same time, a boy called Shankara who was in search of a guru, learnt from people about Sri Gaudapadacharya as a great yogi living in a cave on the river bank in deep meditation. Shankara soon reached the ashram and stood before the entrance of the cave singing some verses. Hearing the verses Sri Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya asks from the cave who was standing near the cave and Shankara reaples in the form of ten slokas ending with the refrain, Sivakivaloam. These ten slokas constitute the famous Dasasloki of the Acharya. After some conversations Shankara expressed his desire to be initiated into sannyas and Sri Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya conveyed it to his guru, Sri Gaudapadacharya. 
Sri Gaudapadacharya from his power of tapasya found out that this Sri Shankara was an incarnation of Lord Shiva and born to uplift the Vedas and thus Sanatana Dharma and instructs his Sishya Sri Govinda Bhagavatpadacharya to give Diksha to Sri Shankara and later Govinda Bhagavatpadacharya initiated Sri Shankara into Sanyasa and named him as Sri Shankara Bhagavatpadacharya. After giving Diksha, Sri Govinda Bhagavatpadacharya instructed Sri Shankaracharya to write a commentary on the Brahma Sutras and propagate the Advaita philosophy. Sri Shankaracharya stays with his guru for some more years and mastered the Vedanta. Sri Govinda Bhagavatpadacharya also gave Diksha to another Vatu and named him Sri Vivarananda, who returned to head Sri Gaudapadacharya Matha at Keloshi in Goa. Topic Deities Bhavanashankar, an aspect of Shiva is the Aradya Devata tutelary deity of the Matha. Daily trikal morning, afternoon, and evening puja is offered by the Mathadipati head monk to Bhavanashankar along with deities Vishnu, Devi, Surya, and Ganesha according to smarter tradition of Panchayatana five deity puja system. Topic: Barudavali or title. Vivarananda Swami founded the Mathas tradition that the name of every Swami of the line should carry the suffix Anand, honorific Saraswati, designation Swami, and the name of his grand guru Gaudapadacharya as the Matha is also named after him. Similar to how a king is addressed when he enters the royal court with his Barudavali title, Mathadhipatis of the Matha are also addressed in Sanskrit. The Barudavali of Sri Swami goes like this. Shmat Paramans Paravrajak Acharya Padvakya Praman Parawar Paranyam Niyam Asan Pranyam Pratyaha Dhyan Dharana Samadhya Ashtanga Yoga Nushtan Nagarishtha Nishthan Adi Guru Parampara Prat Nigam Agam Sa Shruti Marg Pakashak Sava Tantra Swatantra Shrimajmad Agni Tanuj Tapa Swadhyaya Adiyatha Vinimit Shuprik Mahakshetra Gomant Akal Gamati Tir Sanahit Kushasthali Naga Mahamuth Adi Pratistapana Acharya Sakal Sur Makut Mani Nirajit Divya Shri Bhavani Shankar Pad Arawand Aradar Srimat Atmananda Saraswati Ka Kamal Sanjit Srimat Pornananda Saraswati Anugrahit Srimat Satchitanan Saraswati Sri Padai The name of Sri Swami and his Guru and Grand Guru mentioned in above Barudavali will change depending on the Swami addressed. Guru <laughs> Parampara <laughs> The following well-known Parampara Stotra among Smarthas in Sanskrit has the list of early Advaita teachers in their order and that is recited at the beginning of the study of commentaries Narayanam Padmavuvam Vasishtam Shaktiai Ca Tatputrai Parasharam Ca Vyasam Shukam Gaudapada Mahantam Govindam Yogindram Athasya Shisham Sri Shankaracharya Mathasya Padmapadam Ca Hastamalakam Ca Shisham Tam Trotakam Vartika Karamanyan Asmad Guru N Santat Amanato SMI, it means, to Narayana, to the lotus-born Brahma, to Vasistha, to Shakti Maharshi and to his son Parashara, to Vyasa, to Shuka, to Great Gaudapada, to Govinda Yogindra and to his disciple Sri Shankaracharya, then to his disciples Padmapada, Hastamalaka, Totraka and Vartakakra Shorsvara, to these our masters we pay our respect respectful obeisance now and forever. From this verse we can understand that, first teacher being Lord Narayana himself and line of descent from father to son up to Sri Shuka Acharya. From Lord Narayana to Sri Shuka Acharya the line of succession is known as Vamsasi Parampara and from Sri Gaudapadcharya starts the descent of Sannyasins and known as Manava Guru Shishya Parampara, to bifurcate Acharyas according to the Yuga, a in Satya or Krata Yuga 1 Lord Narayana, Lord Sadashiva and 2 Lord Brahma, b in Treta Yuga 
1, Vasishta Maharishi 2, Shakti Maharishi and 3, Parashara Maharishi C in DV Apara Yuga 1, Veda Vyasa and 2, Sri Shuka Akariad in Kali Yuga 1, Acharyas start with Sri Gaudapada Acharya Divine group Lord Narayana Lord Sadashiva Lord Brahma Semi-divine group Vamsasi Parampara Vasishta Maharishi Shakti Maharishi Parashara Maharishi Veda Vyasa Sri Shuka Acharya Manava Guru Sampradaya Sri Gaudapada Acharya Sri Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya Shri Adi Shankaracharya Topic Gaudapadacharyas The Shri Gaudapadacharya Matha follows a Guru Sishya system in which head of the Matha appoints a Shishya, who succeeds the Guru. A Shishya is selected at very young age. The existing head of the Math decides upon a worthy disciple, initiates him as a Sannyasin, and appoints him as the head. The available details of Guru Shishya Parampara of Sri Saunston Gaudapadacharya Matha is as given below. 1. Sri Gaudapadacharya 2. Sri Govinda Bhagavat Padacharya 3. Srimat Vivarananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya and Sri Adi Shankaracharya 4. Srimat Adhanath Paramashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 5. Srimat Sadashiva Paramashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 6. Srimat Ishwara Paramashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 7. Srimat Rudra Pramashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 8. Srimat Vishnu Paramashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 9. Srimat Brahma Paramashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 10. Srimat Sanaka Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 11. Srimat Sadhananda Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 12. Srimat Sanatana Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 13. Srimat Sanatkamara Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 14. Srimat Saraka Sajata Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 15. Srimat Rivushita Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 16. Srimat Dattatreya Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 17. Srimat Raivata Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 18. Srimat Vamadeva Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 19. Srimat Vyasa Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 20. Srimat Shuka Mahashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 21. Srimat N. Rissimha Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 22. Srimat Mahesha Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 23. Srimat Bhaskara Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 24. Srimat Mahendra Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 25. Srimat Vishnu Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 26. Srimat Madhava Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 27. Srimat Mahesh Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 28. Srimat Advaitha Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 29. Srimat Paramatmananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 30. Srimat Siddhyogeshwarananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 31. Srimat Kaivalyananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 32. 
Srimit Amritananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 33. Srimit Hansananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 34. Srimit Brahmananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 35. Srimit Vimalananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 36. Srimit Satchidananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 37. Srimit Vimalananda Sadashivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 38. Srimit Ramamda Sadashvananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 57. Srimit Pornananda Saraswati Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 58. Srimit Sahajananda Saraswati Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 59. Srimit Vidyananda Saraswati Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 60. Srimit Ramananda Saraswati Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 61. Srimit Sadhananda Saraswati Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 62. Srimit Bhavananda Saraswati Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 63. Srimit Satchidananda Saraswati Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 64. Srimit Shivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya and Srimit Atmananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 65. Srimit Ramananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 66. Srimit Jyotirananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya, Srimit Lilananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya, Srimit Sadhananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya and Srimit Pornanada Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 67. Srimit Ramananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 68. Srimit Shivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 69. Srimit Atmananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 70. Srimit Pornananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 71. Srimit Ramananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 72. Srimit Shivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 73. Srimit Atmananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 74. Srimit Pornananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 75. Srimit Ramananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 76. Srimit Satchidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya 77. Srimit Shivananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya, present pontiff There are no records available about the Swamiji's from serial number 39 to 56. The records were destroyed by the Portuguese government during their rule in Goa. Branches, ashrams The Kavail Matha has following branches, ashramas 1. Sri Sanstan Gaudapadacharya Matha, Headquarters, Kavail, Ponda, Goa, Pin 403401. This Mula Matha headquarters was built and inaugurated by 63rd Pontiff Sri Sachidananda Saraswati Swamiji. This Matha is in close vicinity of Sri Shantadurga Temple and there are six Samadhis within the premise. This Matha was built about 70 years after the original Matha at Keloshi was destroyed by Portuguese. Land for this Matha was donated by King Bishvalinga Sounder of Son Kingdom who ruled at the time. 2. Kashi Matha, K2258, Durga Ghat, Varanasi, Kashi, UP, Pin 221008. This Matha situated on Durgahat in Kashi and the presiding deity of the Matha is Lord Yajaraj. 3. Near Dravakila, Brahmavata, Kanpur, UP. Brahmavata is ancient well-known holy place. The Matha is in the fort at Drubgat on the banks of River Ganga. Near to this place stands magnificent palace of King Uttanapada. This Matha has a Sri Rama temple. The Matha used to get an annual grant of thousand rupees from the former Indore state. 4. Nashik, Maharashtra, Pin 422011. 
This matha is located on the banks of the river Godavari in Nashik and close to the Sarkarwada of Srimant Peshwa, has two samadhis in it. The land for this matha was gifted by a Patil during Peshwa's rule. In 1657, then ruler Chhatrapati Sahu Maharaj made a permanent grant to this matha. Later, Gaekwad of Baroda also made a cash grant of 1,525 rupees per year. Once during 74th Srimat Pornananda Saraswati Gaudapadacharya's stay in the matha, it caught fire and his disciple Vishnu Vinayak Gaitonde saved the life of Sri Swamiji by putting his own life into great risk. In this tragedy several valuable records including grant deeds were destroyed. 5. 91 Banaganga Tank Road, Malabar Hill, Warkeshwar, Mumbai, Pin 400006. This matha is on Malabar Hill, in Mumbai along the shores of Arabian Sea. There is famous Banganga Lake in front of this matha. The Kashi Matha building and the well-known Sri Warkashawa temple is also in the close vicinity of this Matha. There are three Samadhis in this Matha. Sri Ramshenvi Lotlakar of Vatsa Gotra had donated the land for this Matha. This Matha was last rebuilt by 76th Srimat Satchidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya. For rebuilding the Matha, cornerstone was laid by Sri Kashi Mathadish, Shamat Sudhindra Tirtha Swamiji on 28 February 1963 in the Divine Presence of Srimat Dwarakanath Tirtha Swami Wadir of Sri Gokana Matha. This was the first and rare occasion where Swainjis of three Saraswat Mathas came together. Later the rebuilt Matha was ceremonially inaugurated by Shamat Sudhindra Tirtha Swami G of Kashi Matha on 28 May 1967. 6. Matha Gali, Karnapur, Belgaum, Karnataka, Pin 591302. This Matha is situated on the banks of Malprava River in Karnapur village in Belgaum district of Karnataka and it houses three Samadhis. This matha was built during Sri Ramananda Saraswati in about 1758 AD. In this matha Panchmukhi idol of Sri Mangesh Shankar Uma Maheshwar is worshipped. The Peshwas donated the township of Marisapur for upkeep of the matha. During the riots of Kittor that swept the area, matha was looted and gold and silver were lost worth lakhs of rupees along with records of grants given to matha. Seven. Vathalapur, Sankali, Goa, Pin 403505. This Matha is about 17 miles away from Matha at Kavail. This Matha houses the Samadhi of Sri Brahmananda Saraswati and Sri Pornananda Saraswati, the 66th Swami G in this Matha. Sri Satroji Rain had built this Matha in Saka 1722. 8. Sonvade, Kudal, Taluk Sindhudurg, Maharashtra, Pin 416520. This matha is situated in Sonavade village of Kudal in Sawantwadi. There are three samadhis in this matha including that of 63rd Guru Sri Sachidananda Saraswati. Prince of Wadi Bonsale donated the land for this matha along with agricultural land for maintenance of the matha. 9. Chinda, Malvan Taluk, Sindhudurg Dist, Maharashtra, Pin 416602. This matha was established and inaugurated by Sri Pornananda Saraswati, the 66th Swamiji. Sri Ramanan Saraswati, disciple of Sri Vijananda Saraswati lived here. 10. Golvan, Golvan Taluk, Sindhudurg Dt, Maharashtra. This matha is in Golvan village, Golvan Taluka, Maharashtra. There are three samadhis in this matha, of those Sri Pornananda Saraswati, Sri Sahajananda Saraswati and Sri Vijananda Saraswati. 11. Chinchawada, Sadashivgad, Karwar, North Karnataka, Pin 581352. This matha was built during then Mathadish Sri Shivanan Swami G in Saka 1793, about 3 km from Karvar, North Karnataka. 
The main deity Sri Sharadamba Devi is worshipped in this matha along with Shiva Linga of black stone marked with concentric circles. When Rudravisheka is done to this Shiva Linga, one can hear the booming sound of AUM. This matha also houses Samadhi of Sri Shivanand Saraswati Swamiji the 73rd Swamiji. 12. Halij, Dal, Karwar District, North Karnataka, pin 581328. In this matha idol of Sri Vidal Vishveshwar is installed and worshipped. Land for this matha was donated by Ramachandra Marthoba Nadkani Malapurka and his brothers Ob the 16th of February 1890. This is the birthplace of Sri Atmananda Saraswati Swamiji, the 74th Swamiji. 13. Main Road, Sri Kshetra Gokana, North Kanara, Karnataka Pin 581326. This matha was constructed in between Saka 1830–1841 and the marble idol of Sri Chakravati Shivalinga was installed in it on Flalguna Shukla Dashami the, 29th of February 1920. the land for the matha was donated by Annapurnabhai Shabaji Kulkarni of Chendie, Karvar Taluk to Sri Atmananda Saraswati in Saka 1753. 14. E70, Greater Kailash Part, I, New Delhi, Pin 110048. This matha was inaugurated on 16 February 1978 by Kashi Matha Swamiji. Sri Sachidananda Saraswati Swami Gaudapadacharya installed the Sri Shantadurga idol. Swamiji's from Sri Gokhan Matha and Tripur Matha were also present at the occasion. Sri B.D. Jati, then Vice President of India visited the Matha and offered respects to Sri Swamiji's. 15. 45, Somavar Pet, Tilakwad, Belgaum, Karnataka, Pin 590006. 16. Lakshmeshwar, Inkola, North Kanara, Karnataka, Pin 581314. Topic. Branch Mathas having temples within their precincts The following branches of Sri Gaudapadacharya Matha have temple within their precincts. Shrey Vidal Rakamai Temple at Kavail Matha Shrey Uma Maheshwar Temple at Karnapur Matha Shrey Mahakali and Muralia Gopalakrishna Temple at Warkeshwar Matha, Mumbai Shrey Bhavanashankar Temple Sonavade Matha, Sindhudurg. Shrey Sita Ramachandra Temple at Brahmavat Matha, UP. Shrey Bhavanashankar Temple at Chindar Matha, Kankavali. Shrey Benu Gopal at Kashi Matha, Varanasi, UP. Shrey Vidal Vishveshwar Temple at Halij Matha, Sadashivgad. Shrey Sharadamba Temple at Sadashivgad Matha Shrey Chakravati Shivaling at Gokana Matha, North Kanara, Karnataka Shrey Sri Dutta Mandir at Inkola Matha Other Saraswath Mathas Kashi Math Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh Chitrapur Math, Shirali, Karnataka, Gokana Math, Patagali, Goa. Topic See also History Devaita Madhvacharya Mandukya Upanishad